Good morning, Gila High School. This is Luke. This is Gerald. In this video, we'll be going over the HHS Registration Guide in order to assist you in selecting the best courses to fit your graduation requirements as well as your personal interests. You should have received a copy of the 2020-2021 HHS Registration Guide. We'll go through this guide and highlight specific information. General information is provided on pages 2 through 5. On page 1, you'll find the principal's message, scheduling of courses, and table of contents. For page 2, notice of language assistance. Page 3, general info, grade level promotion, graduation commencement exercises, and PTP. On page 4, Hilo High student activities, community development and civic engagement, list the clubs and community service, career internship programs. Page 5, graduation requirements. As you pick your courses, especially your electives, please keep the schedule change policy on page 6 in mind. It states, One of Hilo High's learner outcomes is that students will act as responsible citizens in the community, state, nation, and global society. With this in mind, students should make careful, thoughtful decisions during registration in order to maximize classroom learning and minimize disruption. Schedule changes may be made for the following reasons. Incomplete schedule, credit previously received for the course, incorrect level placement, course required for graduation, scheduling error, same course on the schedule, IEP, MP team decision, or extenuating circumstances. Schedule changes are allowed during the first two weeks after the start of the first semester. Requests for changes to second semester schedules may only be submitted during the two weeks before and the two weeks after the start of the second semester. Once the schedule change period has passed, changes can be made only by administrative approval. The following will apply. If a class change is approved after 50% of the class is completed, the student can only be placed in school service. When a change is made within the same content era, the drop teacher will send the exit grade to the add teacher. Those schedule changes will be processed in the fourth quarter. Still uncertain about course selection? Maybe the table at the bottom of page 6 can help. It recommends a sequence of courses required for graduation that the majority of HHS students follow. On page 7, there's information on the various programs that offer dual credit options. These are classes that a student can gain high school credit, as well as college credit. Be aware that it may be a cost to some of these programs. In order to see which program fits you, refer to the comparison chart at the bottom. Please see your counselor for more information. On page 8, you will find a table that lists the various courses that fall under specific CTE pathways. The rest of the guides, pages 10 to 27, give the descriptions of all the courses that may be offered for the next school year. Please read the descriptions carefully and ask friends about courses they've taken in order to make the best choices. Do not choose a course that you may not be interested in just because your friend is taking the course. Not liking the course teacher is not a reason for changing classes. When reading the descriptions, there are two things you will need to write on your registration form the ACCN number, which is shown here with the green arrow. That number is TJR1000, and the course title on the red arrow, in this case, Army JROTC1. The back page is a worksheet to help you plan out your courses. For all of your years here at Hilo High, this is just another method of keeping track of your graduation requirements. Of particular interest, at the bottom, you can use this registration worksheet to list those courses you plan to take next year, it is important that you use this as a practice sheet prior to filling out your official registration form. A final note, our courses at Hilo High are created to meet student demand. If you do not turn in your registration form, then your choices will not be known. You'll be scheduled into any courses that have space available. This is the time to pick your classes, not next year, when you pick your schedule. Before leaving class today, you will receive your official 2020 to 2021 registration form with your name on it. Please, number one, do not lose or destroy this form. In order to get another one, you need to pay 50 cents and obtain a new one from registrator's office. Number two, you must obtain teacher signatures for higher or second year and appropriate level courses. For level three, when complete, obtain parent garden signature. Number four, this is due back to your STARS teacher on Monday, December 9th. Number five, if you fail to turn one in, your classes will be chosen for you and you will not be able to change them next school year. And number six, any questions, please see your respective counselor.